Namaste angels. Thank you for joining, liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I do appreciate it. If you are not yet a subscriber, please do consider hitting both the subscribe and the bell button to ensure that you are likely to receive the notifications that I have put up a new video, particularly those like this, your sun, moon, rising, astrological sign video. Cancer, this is your bi-weekly reading for the period of tomorrow, November 4th, Monday, November 4th through Sunday, November 17th. And right off the bat, I'm going to start with the need for you to have patience and to not, um, to try not to force anything, be it in work or romance. Don't push too hard because you're going to push stuff away. You're going to, you're trying to work with the law of attraction, with the law of, you know, cause and effect, um, with the laws of karma. And if you are like chasing stuff, you're instead going to be repelling it and pushing it away from you rather than bringing it towards you. So a little bit of patience and you do have a card showing up here that is called patience. Slow down, change your attitude and clear your mind. It's funny that they mention attitude because when the queen of pentacles shows up in the reverse, I don't know if this is representing your energy, but where it is, um, it's a funky attitude that uh, I, I personally tend to not be a fan of, of of what I picture as the queen of pentacles in reverse. Usually somebody trying to uh, control people, other people by what I say, like the purse strings, either make them feel as if they're indebted to you. Um, they have to do what you want. Or maybe you can force something because somebody owes you something. Um, or you like put a guilt trip because they're like responsible to help you or make you make them feel responsible to help you to take care of you. And so, you know, they're afraid of not hurting you or letting you down. And so like you manipulate them. That's the queen of pentacles to me. Um, she may very well be a direct earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe most specifically a Virgo because right next to her in your position of love and relationship sits major arcana card nine, the hermit who does represent the sign of Virgo can be also for me like a professor or even a lawyer. So some of us may have a legal situation going on, um, maybe contemplating marriage or, or the opposite divorce. Um, we do have an overall energy of the two of cups, which is representative of partnership. Um, and since it's the overall energy, it doesn't have to necessarily be romantic and in love. It can be in any area of our life. So the card that's most rep um, directly representing what is cancer's overall you know, theme for the next two weeks is the eight of wands in reverse. And this card is also about a need for patience and to not force anything. So you don't want to, again, uh, particularly in relationships, you don't want to force anything. The, the eight of wands in reverse can also be about um, jealousy. And it's crossing the hermit. And the hermit can be about somebody returning to your life. Now, this is interesting because the sign that I read for um, right before you, so my, my, which is my own sign, actually, Gemini, um, I had, I said some of these same things with different cards. Um, definitely the part about not forcing. I think I said that for Taurus too. And what else is interesting is that I said that there may be some sort of conflict that comes up, um, with a fire sign, maybe specifically a Leo. And you have major arcana card strength here in, uh, in reverse in the position of like energies that are surrounding you. So it could be something, you know, indirectly um, or a little less directly than this, at least affecting you or friends, family, coworkers can be represented by this major kind of card strength. In the last um, reading, was it Gemini or Taurus? One of those, the Gemini. Um, I said that there was probably a, not only a conflict, but a conflict involving uh, a Leo, perhaps a water sign, and an earth sign. And I said more than likely um, than Capricorn or Taurus, a Virgo is who the conflict is with. So maybe some of that energy is carrying over. Um, 
I also told one of those signs, again, with different cards, that they were probably being moved to come up with creative ways to help to bring about abundance in their own lives. And it looks like you are too with this card, Creativity. It's the um, overall energy for the Universal Love Oracle um, deck that I card that I have shuffled for you. This is one that's showing up for you. This too has very strong fire, water, and air energies and of the air signs, most specifically Aquarius. But then you got the fire with this very um, red and red winged uh, angel that's here. And she does appear to also be a water bearer. She's holding a vessel that where water is spilling out. But she's also got a star on her third, uh, right over her third eye. So that um, represents the sign of Aquarius for me. And then we see this water. And, you know, for one, in one respect, it's very heavily Pisces with these fish jumping out of the water and also with the moon behind her because the moon represents the sign of Pisces in the tarot. But then, like in real life, Earth's moon represents your sign, rules the sign of Cancer. So, again, this could be something going on between... Um, a cancer and perhaps a fire sign and or air and that fire sign maybe most specifically a leo but there is also abundance to be had to be um, received by the sign of cancer energies are ripe for that if you exercise again a little patience and if you're willing to do some of the work for it because now you've got two cards they're kind of about creativity and coming up with creative ways to bring about your own abundance. Trilogy of Light um, specifically can be about coming up with um, some sort of idea. So maybe over the coming days, over the next two weeks, coming up with some sort of idea that it's like a light bulb goes off, right? Like these, these look like light bulbs too. A light bulb goes off and it's like, oh, you know, like I, I know what I should be doing. And maybe you start, you know, a side gig or you, you know, leave your job because we're going to we got this queen in reverse here. Something funky could be going on there with the, you know, your work situation. Maybe you start your own thing. You get out of there completely. Um, you just start earning some money on the side, whatever. But this is about coming up with creative ways to help to bring about abundance in your own life. And maybe it's different kinds of abundance. It could be love, too. Because, again, you, you got an overall energy of the two of cups, which is partnership. You're the only sign to have had that. Uh, thus far as well so that is super positive um eight of wands can be about co um communication as well and maybe the communication is delayed perhaps because of mercury retrograde mercury entered full-on retrograde on halloween in the um, fellow water sign of scorpio um and will be there for about four weeks. And when Mercury is in retrograde, because it is the ruler of communication, sometimes communications can go awry. And so something may be delayed, even something that you ordered, like something that you're expecting in the mail or that you're not expecting. I mean, it could be somebody that somebody mailed you a card or something or, you know, some other form of communication is held up. Um, and maybe that communication is with regard to your work and or finances. And that's why you're sort of turned upside down in this area, too because you're waiting for information that, that you haven't received yet. And you might feel that you can't like handle, you're not going to make it. Maybe that's why you're being a little bit impatient because you're wanting something to happen. Cause you're like, I don't know what to do. I can't handle this, but actually, um, strength in reverse doesn't mean that you're weak. You know, it actually means that there's more strength in you that you're not drawing upon that you're not using. And, um, you know, you could just be feeling that you, like, what am I good in? What, 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 where, you know, where can I be creative and come up with ways to help myself? What am I good in? And you're going to have to look a little deeper because there's plenty, you know, you, you, um, when strength is showing up here like this in the reverse position, it's saying that you're a strong person and you're not, you're not using yourself to your greatest potential. So you want to definitely, you know, fix that. Again, also the eight of wands can be about jealousy or even guilt feelings. And it's here crossing um, the hermit, which is in your position of love and romance, particularly as it relates to love. It can be about um, jealousy. I'm going to think may maybe some of you are interested in somebody that remains involved with somebody else. Um, and so there is 
uh, jealousy about that. Like, where is my commitment? When is my commitment coming? But I'm not really sure. Some of you may actually have somebody then again, that's returning from your past. I'm not really sure you really want a commitment. I think it may just be, be a feeling of jealousy. Um, or maybe you don't like who the person's with or whatever. And so you're mad, perhaps, uh, um, uh, an earth sign. And so, you know, you, you got an attitude about that, but actually when they, when you could pull them into your energy, you could manifest them when you do, do you really want them is the question. Um, so it's, it's like, you're going to have to go in and in, in, do some introspection like the hermit also represents and ask yourself what it is that you really want. And if, you know, your mind and your mouth is telling you that's a commitment. See if your feelings and your behaviors um, are aligning with that and matching with that because you may, like I said, it could be like, be careful what you wish for. You could bring something upon yourself that you're genuinely not interested in and then you're really going to be, um, you know, not happy with what you've done. It's It's very... Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, she can be a manipulator and stuff like that. You don't want to be like that in terms of love because it's going to backfire on you if you do. Um, you could be drawing something in that you just don't want. Uh, what else do I want to tell you guys? Other than that, strength um, in reverse, similar to strength upright, you know, is a pretty positive card. And tends to mean that, you know, good things are on their way to you. Again, it's just going to require some patience because there seems to be delay and it's just not right there. There is potential um, positivity on, for relationships of all kinds. But where there is funky energy um, and conflict in particular, you may need to be methodical and take everything step by step and day by day, slow and steady wins the race, sort of earth sign style in getting to those relationships and furthering them. Um, don't expect them to just fall into place because there's too much energy that's like turned upside down here, like almost literally with these three cards in reverse. Um, further to that, for those who resonate with the masculine archetype, we have earth connection. So again, we have this earth energy popping up. This is, this card is about um, abundance and sometimes it can indicate a need to spend some time with nature or in nature in order to help to bring about that abundance. Maybe also again with an earth sign, um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. For those who resonate with the feminine archetype, forgiveness. So that could be why, again, um, the hermit is here in this position of love and relationship. And sometimes the two of cups can be about forgiveness, too. It can be about healing a relationship, you know, um, whether it's a friendship or work relationship, a familiar relationship. It can be about, you know, forgiveness and compassion and um, giving people a second chance. <laughs> maybe like somebody that's coming back into your life. That doesn't mean you have to become romantically involved with them uh, if you don't want to. So again, you know, look within and decide what it is you want to do before you enter a commitment just for the sake of entering a commitment. Um, further to that, sun here with this earth connection. Masculine, some of you may go ahead and travel, perhaps across water to somewhere where it's sunny. Maybe for the holidays, you know, maybe you got family somewhere warmer, Florida, um, you know, down other, other places down South, maybe the Carolinas, Georgia, California, I guess not LA. Um, cause this looks happy. Some of you could have family though, there in LA with this sun. I'm just, yeah, this sun shining the, as brightly as it is. Uh, just thinking about the fires. Maybe that's, again, why some of the energy is turned upside down, too. But I definitely see travel for some of you um, of the masculine archetype. And maybe somewhere somewhere sunny and nice. Perhaps to visit family for the holidays. And um, cause Thanksgiving is, what, the 28th? This reading goes through the 17th, but that may be when you're, you know, getting ready to go or at least, you know, we'll have bought your ticket and plan stuff. 
So I definitely see some of that for some of you. And feminine um, for you guys, star. This is a card that's of not only of communication, uh, the star, particularly in the tarot, but also of um, dreams coming true, wishes being granted, prayers being answered, and of healing. It's, it's It can be very temperance-like for me, um, like restorative energy, getting to feel again like yourself, you know, more whole and, and healthy. Um, hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So maybe after some forgiveness and healing of a relationship, things can move forward. And that relationship may be with somebody from your past or closing a chapter and, um, you know, coming to a place of forgiveness and compassion and getting over a relationship from the past, ending that can lead to um, a new future too, new beginnings with somebody brand new. If you are indeed ready for commitment, because you may not be. And if you're not be, that's fine. Like we don't all have to be, you know, in committed relationships and dating. I know sometimes we get that feeling when you're single and you look around and it seems like everybody else is, you know, involved and coupled. And it's like, what about me? Um, but then at least with me, when I'm in that position, it doesn't usually doesn't take too long for me to think the other side either. And like, thank God I'm single. So just, you know, make sure that what you're doing is what you want to be doing and not just, you know, for the sake of doing it because others are. And that's it. I hope you guys have a good two weeks. Thanks again for joining, watching, sharing and subscribing. I'll be back on the 18th with another reading for you. Thanks again also for um, if you if considering to hit the subscribe button and also the bell button so that you can get the notifications. And if you'd like um, a private reading from me or energy healing or any of the merchandise I have available on my Society 6 page or my Teespring page, that information will be available in the description box. Be sure to watch your moon and rising sign as well and perhaps your mate's um, sign, sun sign for a more full picture. Take care.